What's up guys and welcome to another video. My name is Michael. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, I would like to welcome you. If this is not your first time watching one of my videos, I would like to welcome you back anyways. So today we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. We're not gonna be reviewing an action figure. Today I wanted to get a little bit creative with my photography. So today, with your help, we're gonna be photographing Iron Giant. Uh, if you're not familiar with this particular uh, figure, I made a video maybe about a week ago reviewing this particular action figure. The color's a little bit off because this is the Cosmo Burger Edition. Uh, I ordered my new one, which is the original color, and I finally got it, so I'm super excited. So maybe in a couple of months, I'll be making another video. Uh, it'll be very similar because it's the same toy except the other one has the original color. So anyways, going back to the subject, today I'm gonna show you how to photograph and edit this image. Take a look. All right guys, so now without further ado, I'm gonna take you behind the scenes so you can see how I photographed this image and then after that, we're gonna go ahead and edit the image. All right, so don't go anywhere, here we go. All right, and here is our setup for today. We're gonna be using three lights for this shoot. So I have my key light on. Let's go ahead and turn on my edge light and also my background light. For my key light, I'm using a directional light that I made here in one of my YouTube videos. I'm also using a warm gel to warm up my light. This light bulb is a 4000 Kelvin. If you're interested in learning how to make a light like this, you can visit the link in the description. For my second light, I'm using a LumQ light with barn doors to control my light. For my third light, I'm also using a LumQ light with the red gel to lit up my background. All right, so now let's go ahead and take our first shot. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and set up for our second take. Lights stay the same. The subject, the action figure stays the same. The only thing we're gonna add here is the light bulb. This time the light bulb is gonna be connected to my power source and also to a dimmer. I believe I have this set up at five or 10%, so that way we have a little bit of glow. To secure our light bulb, we're gonna be using a clothes hanger wire, so that way we can keep it secure. Let's go ahead and power our lights off. And this is what I want. I want that glow in that light bulb. Let's go ahead and take a picture. All right, and now for my third shot, we're gonna do the same thing. Lights stay the same, except now our light bulb will not be connected to a power source. So this time I'm only using the close hanger, the wire, and the light bulb only. Here's a closer look. All right, and let's take our final picture. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and open up Photoshop and we're gonna open our three images. So right here, I have my image ending in 69, and then I have my other image ending in 65, and then I have my clean image ending at 64. So first thing I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and uh, copy all these files. So I'm gonna go ahead and select all, copy, and we're gonna paste in place on this clean image. All right, so I have my image number two. So let's go ahead and rename this one. This will be, this will be image one. And this will be image two and image ending in 69 we're going to go ahead and select copy as well and we're going to go ahead and paste in place and we're going to name this one image three image three all right so we have our files here we can close these out we don't need them so we only need to uh, stay with the uh, clean image which ends in 64. all right so right here we have our images uh, and what we're gonna do, first thing we're gonna do is we need to clean our our key light in our original clean image. So we're gonna go to image one, which is this one right here. And uh, everything is clean, we don't have a light bulb. 
and but we do have the key light and i wanted to keep that key light there because i wanted to, the light to be this uh, close to the subject so what we're going to use we're going to use the uh, patch tool and we're going to go ahead and select the key light and then we're going to try to duplicate this side and there we go very simple now we're going to zoom in to take a look at this and it looks clean perfect and also i noticed there is a sh some kind of shadow right here let's go ahead and get rid of that too so the same thing we're going to go ahead and use the patch tool and we're going to select this area here and we're going to go ahead and duplicate this and there we go so now we have a clean background image which it looks good all right so we got rid of that now let's do the same thing with um, image number two and we want to go ahead and get rid of this so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create a mask so we're going to click here the mask tool and we're gonna go ahead and select black and we're gonna use our brush. We're gonna set this at 100%. And let's get rid of this. And just to remind you what I, the only thing we need from this image is just the glowing part of the light bulb. We don't need anything else. So we can just go ahead and freely remove all this. All right, perfect. Now we're gonna to go to image number three and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go ahead and get rid of this uh, key light. So we're gonna go ahead and create a mask. Make sure your mask is select, selected and the color black. It's 100% the opacity and we're gonna do the same thing here. All right. So that's pretty nice. So we got rid of our key light and the wire holding the light bulb. Now, the next step is to get rid of this wire here. Now this one, we have to be very careful how we do this. Um, when taking the pictures, I should have taken another picture with this part of the light bulb clean. It would have made my job much easier, but I didn't. So now we just have to get created and we have to recreate some of this area right here uh, and also here as well. So we're going to go ahead and make sure on this one on image three, make sure you select the actual image and not the mask. And we're going to select our the pen tool. So basically we're outlining the outline the light bulb, just this part here, because this is where we want to work. And let's see. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and make selection. We're going to set this at zero percent, and we have our this section. This is the section that we want to work, so we have that selected. All right, so. Everything, any changes that I make, they're gonna be made here inside this grid. Uh, and, but I wanna work outside first. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select our mask. Again, we're gonna select our brush and we're gonna invert the selection. So now we're not working inside, we're working outside. And we wanna do the same thing here. Just gonna wanna go ahead and spray this black. So we're working here. Okay, that's clean. And let's do the same thing right here in this little section. Okay, as you notice, whenever I'm deleting this, it's showing this dark part here. That's from image two. So what we can do is we can close image three and we'll go back to image uh, two. And we can do the same thing here to get rid of this section. Let's take a look at this. Perfect looking good all right and now we want to work inside the light bulb and this is where we need to get creative because again I should have taken another image uh, of the light bulb 
with this part clean but I didn't so now we have to get creative with Photoshop and recreate this so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and select our pen tool again and make sure you select image 3 the image not the mask okay and we're just gonna go ahead and highlight here the edges on this All right, and now we make selection, 0%, and we have the area that we wanna work on. So let's go ahead and now select the uh, stamp tool, or the clump stamp tool. Remember to have the image selected and not the mask, okay? So at this part, we have to get a little creative here. So I'm gonna select here and duplicate here. Let's go back. Let's go ahead and change our opacity to say 50. 53 is good. That way we're not, it's a little more like faded. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect because we, we're basically recreating it. All right, let's see what that looks like. Bingo, looks good to me. All right, and now we need to work. Uh, all right, so now we need to work with this upper part here. So let's go ahead and invert our selection. So now we're not working here, we're working everywhere else. Uh, but again, we only wanna work here, so we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna select our stamp tool and 53 is a good opacity number to start. Let's make this a little bit smaller. And let's start cloning some of this to get rid of this. All right, and now we have to be careful here. Uh, so what we, what we want to do is we're going to select the pen tool and we want to go ahead and select this area here. We want to stay in that area, inside. And then outline this too. Oops, don't let it go yet. Outline this. make selection leave that at zero percent and now we have selected this area so let's go ahead and continue here all right and i think that looks good all right so let's go ahead and take a look and voila we got rid of our wire all right so now the next step we want to do is we want to go ahead and add the glowing wiring inside the light bulb. So we're going to go ahead and continue to work with image number three. So basically we just want to clean this out. So again, we're going to work with our mask. Let's go ahead and save this just in case. Save it. All right. So now what we want to do is we want to work with image number three and we're going to select our mask again. And we're going to select our brush tool and black color. I'm going to set the opacity at 50%. And let's go ahead and see what we got here. And here's our glowing light. Okay, make sure you don't get rid of all the highlights like here and here because that actually it separates the light bulb from the background. So you want to make sure you have that light bulb. So, so that way we can see it. All 
All right, let's go ahead and take a look at this. And look at that, it's looking good. All right, the other thing I wanna do is I wanna go to image two. And you notice that it's a little bit darker inside here, obviously, because in image two, we weren't using our key light, so it's pretty dark. So what I wanna do is I wanna do, kinda clean up this right here. So we're gonna basically remove all this. So we only focus on the glowing, and that's what we really want. We don't want anything else other than the glowing. Uh, so we're gonna select our mask and we're gonna do the same thing with our brush and the black color. Okay, so now we're gonna hit our backslash to see what we have painted already in black. And if you miss an area, just highlight it a little bit better here. And that looks pretty good to me. All right, let's go ahead and hit that key again to remove it. And now we're gonna go ahead and go back to image three and take a look. There we go. Now it actually blends with our actual background, our original background, which is good. Uh, now this is optional, it's up to you. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these uh, glares. I, I don't like them. Uh, so let's go ahead and get rid of that. Again, we're gonna go with image three on the mask and we're gonna use the same brush and get rid of this. Get this right here it's a little dark so we need to clean this out in image two so go ahead and work on this right here there we go now it's gone so that is looking pretty good all right and there it goes there's our light pole just the way we want it. So now we have a flying light bulb and we have obviously our iron giant here. So another thing I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and get rid of this right here. Select our mask and do the same thing. Let's get rid of this right here. And we need to do the same thing on our second image as well. Clear all this out. that looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and set this in a group. So let's go ahead and put it in a folder. And we're gonna name this um, original, original files, original files. All right, so we have our group. So now what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and create a new layer. And what I wanna do on this, uh, New layer is I want to make the light glow a little bit more, okay, because it's not too bright. So we're going to go ahead and select our brush and we're going to select a white color and we're going to do, let's go ahead and start with the uh, blending soft light and we're going to set our opacity, let's start with 20% and let's see what this looks like. All right, so let's make the glow big. So maybe we can start here. And we're just gonna hit it once. See what that looks like. Here's before, after. I gave it a little touch, not over the top, but I gave it a little touch. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make my selection a little bit smaller, and then I'm gonna do another touch here. Our second touch, let's compare this, perfect. And let's do one more inside the light. We're close to inside, so that's right here. Perfect, that's three. And now inside, four. Maybe we can do five, six, seven. 
All right, and let's see before and after. And then we have our light. Our light is glowing. We're gonna do another, we're gonna add another layer. And this time we're gonna select our blending, our light blending. And we're gonna keep the same colors. So now we wanna highlight inside the light bulb. So let's get a little, yeah, right there is good. And let's go ahead and click once. One, two, three. Let's do one more. And four. All right, so let's go ahead and group these two together. And we're gonna call them glow. Light glow. And when we turn that off, Here's before and after. And I'm gonna add another glow to, to his eyes. I think that'll look really cool. All right, so we're gonna select our brush. Let's get in here. All right, our brush. Let's make this small enough. And what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and select I'm going to select uh, overlay. And let's try this out. Ta da! That was pretty good. All right, we're going to go ahead and create a new layer. And then we're going to go ahead and select our pen tool. We're just going to select this eye, this left eye. And select it and now we're gonna go ahead and use our brush and paint this inside we're gonna start at a lower percentage that's 26 and let's see what we can get here we'll make this eye glow there we go that's pretty good and also maybe we can touch up here on his other eye a little bit in section here and let's take a look and voila now his eyes are glowing which is really cool Take a look. We're gonna go ahead and turn off all our high our glow. That uh magic. Pretty cool. Alright, so now let's go ahead and select our two groups. We're gonna duplicate our groups and we're gonna merge them together. And now what I want to do is I want to work this as one image, and I'm gonna go to filter and I'm gonna to go to camera raw filter. And this is where the fun starts. This is where you make your image, where you can adjust the shadows, the highlights, uh, the brightness, saturation, make it look the way you want it, which is good. So uh, first thing, let's go ahead and adjust our exposure. Make it a little brighter. I think that looks good. Um, maybe what I want to do is I want to Bring the gradient tool here and make the make this a little darker here. Okay, let's take a look at that. Before and after, yeah, I like that. You can also try the radio filter and let's see if we can select just the area where the light is glow glowing, where you want it to glow. So maybe something like this. Let's see. All right, and we can control this right here. You can make it that dark, or you can make it just a little bit, not over the top. I think maybe a negative one. Look at that, okay. 
let me try removing the radio here. The uh, not, I'm sorry, the gradient. Let's go ahead and remove this. Maybe we don't need this. Yeah, I kind of like it like this better. Yeah, that's good. All right, and let's go ahead and work with our um, the contracts. Maybe we can play with our highlights. Maybe a four. Let's play with our shadows. Let's see what happens with our shadows. Let's make it a little bit brighter. And our highlights down again. before here's the after all right let's see maybe we can do um sharpen this a little bit let's zoom in okay zero and let's do 25 it's a little bit a little touch, not big, not over the top, but it looks good. All right, now we go back to, and let's go ahead and see what else we can do here. I think the white balance is good. Uh, let's go to our curve tool, and let's go ahead and play with our darker darker tones on the image and let's make them more instead of a solid black let's make them more like a lighter black maybe like a graded just a little bit not over the top let's tone this down a little bit here okay before yep that was pretty good all right what else can we do now let's try this with the Iron Giant. We're gonna make them a little bit warmer, not over the top, just a little bit. This area right here where the light is hitting him. Okay, I'm digging that, yeah. All right, what else? I think that's about it. I don't wanna go over the top, changing much on, on the image. I think this actually looks pretty good. Uh, we could play with the uh, saturations, but I honestly don't think we need that. Let's see, here's that zero. Zero. And here's that 14. Let's do let's do a five. I think a five will be good. Again, not over the top, just a little bit. And the last thing I want to do with this image, I want to go ahead and clean up my light bulb. It is a little dirty. So let's go ahead and clean this up. For this, we're gonna use our spot healing brush tool. And we're going to be selecting each of these little dust particles. That definitely looks much much better now one final step that I want to do is I'm gonna I want to still clean it up a little bit more so I'm gonna add one more layer and I'm gonna use the um, brush 
and we're going to go ahead and zoom in here and maybe we can start at 30 percent let's make this brush a little bit bigger and i'm just going to go ahead and copy the color near this area and just spray paint it just so it'll make it smooth uh let's see maybe a little bit stronger in the opacity here All right, so now that's looking really good, but we have to do one more step to make this blend with the actual image, okay? All right, so when you zoom in, you notice that the actual image has some grain in it, and this uh, new layer of spray that we added doesn't have grain. It doesn't look grainy, so it looks, it looks off. Now, select our effects, and we're gonna go to noise, and we're gonna do add noise. And let's see what happens here. Now we don't want the colors in the green, so we're gonna go ahead and use monochromatic. There we go. And we obviously wanna reduce this amount because that's over the top, over the top for our image. So there we go. I think this is blending with our image, which is good. This is a before and after. That actually blends with our image. So now we press okay. And voila, there's our image. <laughs> All right, before closing this out, I wanna try it out something. I wanna go ahead and uh, make Iron Giant a little bit brighter. So let's go ahead and create another layer, duplicate layer. And let's see, what I wanna do now is I wanna go ahead and go to camera raw and filter. And let's play with the um, let's play with the highlights. We're gonna select our brush and we're gonna select our highlights. We're gonna change that to maybe like a let's try a twenty. Our white balance maybe yeah we can leave it at four. So let's go ahead and zoom in closer. And let's see. Let's try this out and see what it looks like. All right. make it a little bit brighter all right so let's take a look before here's before and after i don't know i think that looks good it looks pretty nice right there this is a little too dark and this is a little bit brighter another thing that we can try is we can uh try to set the brightness or the highlights here a little bit lower so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna select highlights and lower it uh, we're gonna uh, change our white balance back to normal and let's see what this does all right here's before here's after all right and I think this is a wrap for this image I think it looks great all right, guys, that is it for today. Thank you so much for your support. I hope this video was of value to you. If you like this video or you would like me to make more videos like this, let me know in the comments below. Like always, if you did like this video, make sure you like it. This really helps me here in the channel. And if you haven't subscribed here to the channel and you would like to help me grow this channel, make sure to subscribe. And if you're on Instagram, follow me on Instagram at michaels.collectible. I will see you guys next week. Take care, bye.